Welcome to Learn Yourself. Today we are going to study about formation of acid rain. This topic is under ICSE standard 9 syllabus. So earlier we have discussed that what all are the acid which are responsible for acid rain? So acid rain is basically a mixture of H2SO4, then H2SO3, HNO3 and HNO2. All these four acid will mix up in the trusses in rainwater and they are forming acid rain. When Rainwater's pH is less than 5.6, then it is termed as acid rain. All these things we have discussed earlier. Now we will see that how this stresses of acid is forming via help of pollutants. So in this process, there are two steps. In first step, we will see that formation of sulfuric acid and sulfurous acid. Then in the second step, we will see the formation of nitric acid and nitrous acid. So here we are seeing the formation of H2SO4 and H2SO3. In this there are four reactions. First two reaction will tell us that how the sulfurous acid will be made and at the fourth equation we will get that how sulfuric acid is formed and it will mixed with rainwater. So first is when sulfur will be there, it will react with atmospheric oxygen. Now from where this sulfur will come in atmosphere? From power generation plant and via coal burning. This sulfur will be there in atmosphere. So this sulfur will react with oxygen and it will give us sulfur dioxide. So in next step, when this sulfur dioxide is reacting with mist of water and water droplets then immediately it will form sulfurous acid so that is our first pollutant that is sulfurous acid then in another case when a two molecules of sulfur dioxide will get oxidized air or will it react with oxygen then it will give us a two molecules of sulfur trioxide this is sulfur dioxide and this is sulfur trioxide and how this reaction will be possible this reaction is catalyzed by dust particle and water droplets present in the atmosphere so this in this reaction we will get sulfur trioxide so when sulfur trioxide will react with water will connect with the water and what will be the form of water a mist of water or a rainwater droplets then it will give us a sulfuric acid process. Both this will be in aqueous form. So alone sulfur dioxide is able to form sulfurous acid and sulfuric acid. Only the change is when two molecules of sulfur dioxide will react with oxygen, it will give us sulfur trioxide. And when this sulfur dioxide will react with water, it will give us sulfurous acid. So this is how we will get a traces of sulfurous acid and sulfuric acid in our atmosphere. Now in the next step we will see that how the traces of nitric acid and nitrous acid will mix with rainwater. So under the formation of nitric acid and nitrous acid we will study three reactions. When nitrogen will react with oxygen, this reaction will happen at high temperature like 1300 degrees centigrade and this will only possible when lightning discharge will be there. So when nitrogen will react with oxygen, it will give us two molecule of nitric oxide. So when this two molecules of nitric oxide further oxidized into nitrogen dioxide, it will give us two molecules of nitrogen dioxide. Earlier the nitric oxide will form. That nitric oxide further oxidized into nitrogen dioxide. Now when this nitrogen dioxide will come in a contact with water mist or water droplet, 
it will give us both the acid both the acid means nitrous oxide and nitric oxide so here we are getting our both acid traces along with water and this is how all the four acid are being formed with the help of atmospheric pollution now when this acid will formed and when they are mixed with the water with rain water then this traces of acid will give acidic quality to the rain water so rain water's ph will get down it will be lower than 5.6 so that rain water is termed as acid rain this topic is important as every alternate year this question is being asked that explain the formation of acid rain then you have to mention all the seven equations if they are asking specifically that explain the formation of sulfuric acid and sulfurous acid via atmospheric pollution then you have to mention only four reaction and if they are asking about nitric acid and nitrous acid then you have to mention this three equation along with the reaction condition and you have to explain that what are the catalyst and under which situation this acid traces are forming so this is how the acid rain is formed if you have any doubt comment in a comment box or you can write me at my email address don't forget to subscribe learn yourself i'll see you in next video till then keep learning keep sharing